Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. I want to talk today about Google's recent announcement for Stadia, its new game streaming platform, and how these kinds of services could potentially shake up the smartphone industry. Now, we've known about Stadia for a while now. It was first announced back in March, and it's already created quite a bit of buzz. But just a couple of days ago, Google has come out with some general release dates, some idea of the pricing, and a list of some pretty nice games coming out at launch. All exciting stuff. So if you didn't already know, Google Stadia is supposed to be like a Netflix for gaming, except you do have to buy each individual title. All of the processing will be taking place inside the cloud on Google servers, and it'll stream the results to your display. This allows you to play AAA title games without gaming level hardware, not only on a PC or a laptop, but on a TV or a tablet or even a smartphone. And it's not only Google. Microsoft is testing its own cloud gaming service called Project X Cloud, and Apple is coming out with this arcade subscription service too, though details are scarce. This opens up a lot of questions about the future of gaming. If these streaming services are a success, no longer would you have to spend a ton of money on hardware. No longer would you need to upgrade that hardware periodically to keep up with the latest titles. It's relevant not only for PC gamers, but for mobile gamers as well. Smartphone gaming has gotten a lot more serious these days. We're not stuck playing Snake or Tetris anymore. Manufacturers are marketing phones specifically for the gamer crowd, like the Honor Play and the Asus ROG phone or the Razer phone. These types of devices have powerful processors, heat sinks, and specific software to optimize the gaming experience. But the gamer effect isn't limited to just those phones, it's throughout the whole system. Each generation of flagships is coming out with a new chipset, trying to get a little bit faster, a little bit more powerful each year. Do we really need more power for browsing Facebook or watching YouTube? It's a numbers game, and a lot of it is for the sake of saying, yeah, we can play the latest games without a hitch. But when game streaming enters the picture, it'll open up a different option entirely. You could buy a smartphone that you're happy with and stream the latest games for the entire lifetime of the phone. All of the patches and hardware upgrades will take place inside the cloud, on the servers. So you could potentially use the same phone for years, maybe just replacing the battery once in a while. This would really shake up the smartphone ecosystem. The markets are already starting to become saturated, and manufacturers have to constantly come up with new features to attract customers. If a chipset upgrade isn't necessary, they'll have to try even harder to get us to buy their new phones. These changes won't happen overnight though. Google Stadia will probably be the first to offer game streaming, and for now, only the Google Pixel 3 and 3a are supported, though I'm pretty sure they'll eventually expand it to other Android phones. Plus, you need a pretty fast connection in order to stream, so until 5G networks come online, you're limited to Wi-Fi only, so no playing on your commute. Stadia game pricing is still up in the air, and it will be hard to convince many free-to-play mobile gamers to actually buy their titles. And the Stadia service is only available in a few countries at launch, so everyone else will have to wait a while. But in the end, it all depends on if the game streaming itself actually works, if it really is playable with low latency and no lag. If Google can deliver what it promises this November, things are going to get pretty interesting in the tech world. Thanks for watching guys, and see you on the next one.